I'll give them that. That's one of the most interesting insults I've ever seen. Mr. Scummer Noob. Don't know what it means. Maybe he's meant to say scammer or he's just trying to call me scum. But anyway, hey, what's up, guys? Reese here. Welcome to Darkscape 86. We're doing a bit of Slayer stuff this video where we're trying to still sell stuff and then we're going to buy some more Herbal or supplies. We've got a Jungle Strike Worm task. Into the Herbal or Fund. Hello, hello. Another Hex Crest. I think that's number four. If you remember last time, guys, we got three Hex Crests in one task, which was absolutely amazing. And I just realized they look actually really sick. Very cool. 87 strength lads coming in yes nice 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 I'm gonna be ready for them combat updates 142 tasks in a row and just for the shits and gigs let's have a price check of this I've never priced I don't actually no I was about to say I don't price check this because task isn't very good but hello look at that hello 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 a papaya fruits they're not bad actually I don't know if they sell for much that being said, yeah, okay, that's because the papaya is 219k. They definitely don't sell for that much, not in Darkscape at the moment. Which I wish they would, actually. But anyway, 861k is what it says, 68k. So if it does sell for all that, it's actually a very good task. Right, guys, so it looks like some of this stuff is sold. Um, let's see. So super attack stuff not sold. I did drop the prayer pots a little bit, 3.2 each. Oh, wait. Sorry, what? That, I feel like that used too much, that taxed way too much. Actually, uh, not that bad, okay. I will tell you that it was not exactly good money <laughs> to do this. I spent 4.5 mil on making 1k uh, prayer pots, and I got 2.8 mil back. So, not exactly the best thing in the world, is it? So, yeah. That's quite unfortunate. Um, I don't know if I'll do it again. Like I say, if I... Do them, and then, like, go do Slayer. I just have to do, like, two Slayer tasks. Like I say, 4.5 mil got pretty much 3 mil back. 1.5 mil, just have to do, like, two Slayer tasks in between making 1k pots, and I'm really not losing anything. You see what I mean? But it's still a bit disheartening, <laughs> isn't it, really? Um, losing that much from 1k pots. The question is, I really don't know what else there is. got to, like, check in some more things. Like, 71 potions. There isn't much options. That's the problem here. Anti-fire breath. Maybe we can make those. Let's see, Super Defense, people obviously won't be buying those. Sanfu Serum, definitely not. Super Restores, that is one thing i got to look at. Snapdragons, Red Spider Eggs, that may sell. Everything else is pretty, like, meh. When can I do our uh, Sarodom and Brews? Because they might be something that's doable. Can I do Sarodom Brews yet? There's no yellow pot here, so I'm guessing I can't. Yeah, I'll maybe look into... Oh, I can do Super Ranging Pot in one level. That's still sick. I don't know, that that would be used way more for PK than a, like a super attack does. But Dwarf Weed and a Zamorak Wine looks pretty expensive. Hmm. See, we can get uh, Lantern Dimes. I know they're very expensive, like 5k each as well. Ah, the struggle. Honestly, it might just be best to make a bunch of super attacks. Because they super attacks, let's see. Um, it cost me around 1.4 mil to make 1k of them for 200k XP. Which is better than this things, it's just that they're probably never ever going to sell, especially if I make like 15k of them for like 85. Should we just YOLO? Let's just YOLO and buy some super attack supplies I think. Make the money back from Slayer and then slowly selling all the pots, who knows. There we go, that's 700k XP for 4.6 mil and uh, damn they're not even buying. I bought 1k Grimmy Earrets last time for 1.2k each. I'll just leave that offering and let's go do some Slayer. This Renex scale sold for 251k Hexcrest. 641k, man. Oh, imagine if you could camp those. That'd be worth nothing. Thank God for, like, those only being killable on tasks. It's really saving the price of those. It's really good. Slowly flip Granars and, like, make Granars just... Uh, granars. Granars, prayer pots, just because they actually buy. Hey, look at that. Um, 1,700 total level. Awesome. I just wanted to do a bit of AFKing. So I decided to train a little bit of that divination, and there we go, 1700 total level. There we go, 27 div, and take that, I am a PKer. 16 hunter, you can't talk shit now. There we go, 30 divination, that's a nice little bit of total levels coming in. And 17 hunter, I'm just going to go back to cleaning some herbs. Got a good successful wave here, reward. Okay, don't miss, click of those, spam one. 94k herb XP, awesome. 72 herb lore, lovely. 17. 
of the Herb Law Grind. Great news guys, I found a possible way to make some cash or to not lose as much cash while doing Herb. Have a look at this guys, we'll also make it quicker. Give me a sec, go to the history, I test it out. Um, Grimmy Dwarf Weed, 4k. Zami Wine, 2.6k, so let's call that uh, 6.3k. And then Super Ranging Pot sells for 6.7k each. And I bought three of those. I have 300 of those at 4k each. I just have to make sure wine stay at a decent price. And then, holy shit, I can profit off of Herbalore. That is amazing and only like a short term thing. That is so good. So 75 Herbalore. I made only around 300, but gosh, so good. It's like 6k in invent. Um, yeah. I've, that's all I had. More wines I got to buy. So I'm going to sell those, buy some more herbs, put another offer in some more wines. And then just wait, and just once they buy, make some mad XP. Absolutely grand, sells instantly. Wow, let's see how much that, how much was that? History. 6.7k each still. Um, I can't do the maths exactly, but I'm pre it's pretty safe to think, to say I profited. Or oh, at least didn't lose any money. I can put those offers up to 3, 3k each, and I'll probably still be good. Or only losing a bit. Like I say, I can, I'm fine losing a bit. I just want to get that XP coming, you know. So grab a few hundred of those. Oh yes, and it, and it made more buy. This is this is great. Once those prayer pots sell, I should just be able to go back and forth hopefully with these. <laughs> RuneScape Three Clan Secret Santa. <laughs> Look at these moves I got, lads. I want some free loot. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. This is my secret Santa. It's not Alan. This this Alan. He's handing them out. But let's see what it is. What have I got? What is it? Anticipation's killing me. Remember how you said you wanted a rune dagger? Don't give me a rune dagger! Yes. <laughs> what have I got? A rune dagger. Here we go. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Holy fuck. Yes, that's gone straight in the invention tab, actually. That's actually an amazing present. Thank you. Was that you, Alan? I don't know. Whoever that was, thank you. 5,000 rune daggers. <laughs> holy fuck. Alright guys, I don't care if you think this is boring. Like, I was going to do Slayer and that, but holy shit, I've hit the jackpot with this uh, super ranging pots or whatever. And now, I even, in the next level, which I'm going to get after I make these ones, I'm just cleaning some herbs. Potato cactus, I bought them at 100 to 500 GP each. They're so cheap, I've got 1k of them. And then I bought lantern dimes at 5k each. Around that. Let me check, actually. It might have been more. Um, history. I only bought a few of them, because that's all I could afford. Yeah. 170 at 4.7k each. But once I make these and sell these, I'll buy more. But holy shit, I'm going to be able to profit. Let me just actually test it on video. 500 GP for that, 4.7k. So around, let's say, 5.5k at the high end. Let's get a Super Magic Pot. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. I didn't think of that. Fuck no! Oh shit! Okay, 5.5k. I may have may have overestimated that. I thought I had another another like a uh, profitable profitable pot. I might not. Oh shit! Decant it into four dose. It sells a bit better. Let's see. Might have to do the maths on this. But okay, I may have just fucked myself over. I didn't buy too much. I only got 170 lantern dimes. But let's see. Okay, I know when I actually bought them myself, I had to buy them at a lot. So we'll see, maybe it's just a time thing, maybe no one's buying it at the moment. By the way, Potato Cactus is really cheap, so I reckon I could prop it if I just give it some time on the Super Magics. The magic Pots don't work out like I was thinking, I can still uh, profit slash lose very minimal off these Super Ranging, so I'm very happy with that. No! 77 Herb Lore, nice. 78 Herb Lore! Alright guys, so I had a task to um, clean 15 uh, Torstals, I re-rolled it, which now the last Herb Lore task I did I th I'm not sure if it was cleaning, but it gave me like 60k XP, so this should hopefully, if it's the same kind of thing, give me a lot of XP. Where's Berthorpe? It should give me like 120k XP or something. Send it in now. 102k XP, that saves me a lot of cash. And 17 Dragon Stones out of that. Absolutely lovely. You love just getting 102k XP and just free cash really. And look at that, 64 mil total XP. Lovely. Thanks, Meg. I wanted a Herbal lamp, not a huge cooking lamp. I'll take it though. 63k cooking, 40k cash. Hey, we got a Trisk fragment, which is always good. Drop those prayer pots. Yeah, we haven't done a task like this in ages. It's good. Feels good. We're using our ZGS and it's actually coming in good. Besides that, 31. 
Yeah. I swear I must have recently just got lots of prey gear or something. I feel like the last day or something when I've been using prey pots, they're lasting a long time. I've used like one prey pot in like 50 kills or something. I brought way too much. <laughs> like what the hell? Too much prey pot. When it comes to kill me, I have to telly. I can't tank. I've got nowhere near enough food to actually tank. It's not, it's, it's not good at all. Here we go. First time getting this in any of the RuneScape games at all. Well, RS3 or this. An Abyssal Orb. Pretty sure it's worth absolutely nothing. You can only get it on task. It's like super airdrop. And yeah. I would have much rather a whip, thank you very much. There we go. 143 tasks in a row, 18 points. Let's get out of here safely and have a price check. Interesting. 515k, not bad. Abyssal Orb and a Trisk Fragment. So it's like some rare stuff in there as well, which is nice. This 29. I'm going to do it. Like, why not, right? It's level 29. Stupid not to. Can I out damage level 29? I bet I can't. I bet I can't. Come here, son. Give me your smith and supplies. Can't carry a 29. The struggle is real. Someone's ult's getting in trouble. Will Wreck come and drop me? Did he exog? Fucking wilderness. Well played. Yeah. I tried to do it for the comedies. For the comedies, I tried to kill him. And I lost the smithing loot myself. I'm after Herb anyway. So just a bit of fun. There we go. <laughs> 16k smithing levels. What a joke. I mean 16k XP. <laughs> Three levels. I guess it's okay. I need, um, what's it called? Shit, what do I need? I need 70 to make a crossbow, I think. Which I forgot about that requirement. So I do got to start doing smithing, I guess. Tip, I should probably bring some higher level weaponry or something if I'm trying to kill people and actually kill them. Level 29, how embarrassing. My stuff before the guards kill me. Bank, I reckon I can. Ah, uh, not if they freeze me. Wait. Almost. Guys, so we're going to end the video here, I reckon. We'll get 85 herb next video, I promise. Well, 83 and then boost and start making that. And then the video after that will start the QBD grind, I reckon. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like it if you like it, subscribe and see more. If you made it this far into the video, drop a like. See you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hope the audio wasn't too bad in the last few minutes here.